Hello and welcome to the Mouseworks series of how-to instructional model building videos. We here at Mouseworks strive to bring you the best information and techniques to help you get the most out of your model building experience. We will show you how the pros build models step by step so you can easily follow along. Most of the techniques you will see are very easy to learn and simple to accomplish. So sit back and let us show you the tricks and secrets to building your miniature masterpiece. For this tutorial, we're going to be manufacturing a mantlet cover for this particular Chieftain model here. This is an old Tamiya kit, and unfortunately, they did not give you any kind of a uh, cover here, basically so you, you could move the barrel up and down uh, freely um, on the model. It's kind of a toy, toyish feature that they used to do way back when, but uh, we need to fill this in if we want to make it accurate. Uh, the barrel has been fixed in place, glued in place to the elevation I want. And to build this cover, I'm going to be using Tamiya Epoxy Putty, the quick type. And it comes in slabs that look like uh, chewing gum. I'll be using this. It's a two-part mix, 50-50 mix, uh, basically to make a tarp that I can mold and work with with the toothpicks. It's actually a fairly easy technique. Uh, dries in about half an hour to an hour. Then it can be painted and uh, roughened up or however you want to finish it. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the putty, the toothpicks, a glass slab, and some water. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, two parts of epoxy putty and I want them in equal amounts so I'm going to just cut what I think is going to be enough to do the, at least the top of the mantlet so I'm just going to line them up and then cut them off like so then I'm going to take the wrapper off of these And what I want to do to make sure they're in equal quantities is I'm going to take them and I'm going to roll them up. If I can get this last plastic off. There we go. Roll it up into a little ball. And it might help to get your fingers wet. And that'll give you a little bit more ability to sculpt with this stuff. And I want to get it into a little ball. And then that way you can actually judge the size and the amount of this putty you have. If they're in unequal amounts, sometimes it will never dry, sometimes it'll dry too fast. So you want them in equal amounts. So actually this, the white part is a little bit big. So we're going to cut off some of that. And that looks like they're about equal there. So we're gonna go ahead and knead these together and mix them up. And it should eventually, after working it after a few minutes, turn into one solid color. And we'll work this for a few minutes and we'll be ready to go. So we've got the epoxy putty mixed well turns into a little bit of a tan color that's when you know it's fully mixed there shouldn't be any striations or anything in it and that way it'll dry smoothly so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my turret here and i'm going to take a little chunk of this about half and if it gets sticky and sticks to your fingers again use the water that will help you mold it and keep it off your fingers and I'm just going to push 
it in using the toothpick into the cavity and the toothpicks make it so you can actually get a lot of the wrinkles in the what would look like a canvas tarp or cover you can already see that I can make wrinkles and so forth just like so let's get a little water and I'm just going to work it back and forth work it into the crevices and it actually goes up kind of into this area so we'll actually move some of it up there okay. and if I need some more I can just go back to my lump of it here and you can see it just works right in that way you have no seams on your new piece okay. and you want to give it a little bit of gravity where it looks like it would be draped over and the gravity would be uh, putting the wrinkles in a certain way and then on the corners you can actually just scrape it away or try to move it back and wrangle it into the areas that you want and if you have some photo reference it always helps to try to simulate what you're looking for okay and you want all the edges to taper down that way it doesn't look like it's just a lump on there that it looks like it's actually a fairly thin piece of canvas just by rolling the toothpick back and forth and work it a little here there you can see it's already starting to to look much better than a gaping hole now what I'm going to do is take a little water and I'm going to start putting those wrinkles in just giving a little push making a divot and then rolling it out to smooth it out kind of work with the direction of the barrel okay and that's honestly all there is to making a tarp you can do that as well for other things like the uh, uh, turret baskets and so forth just do it really thin move this over a little bit here but you can see I've got some wrinkles in there so what I'm going to do is I want to do the bottom part down here with some more and maybe work in a little more if I think it's getting a little bit thin I'll put some more of the epoxy putty on here and then just kind of roll it in to the actual shape and I can actually take a small piece make like a snake of it here and then roll it in and then you've got a uh, a wrinkle so once you're done you can do a couple things if you want to make it look really like canvas you can take a old t-shirt and press it into the putty just very lightly that'll give it a, a textured look so it looks like it's a, a large weave canvas and then when you uh, paint it and do a wash and dry brush that texture will really come out so that's all there is to that and uh, give it a try it's uh, pretty easy to work with